Top 10 plays of the E-League Invitational for CSGO in 2019. Four teams in attendance in Atlanta, Georgia. Complexity, Cloud9, Big, and FaZe all showing up for us. Number 10, it's going to be automatic. He's a rifler turned opper following a device's footsteps. He opened a lot of eyes this weekend. I think he made a lot of believers out of people, and this is a nice sequence here on Mirage against FaZe. A couple different angles to look at as he uses those boxes for cover, but automatic just putting people down. Not an easy thing to transition into this role, but early returns are good. 57% of his kills at E-League were with the AWP. He was 51-45 and 45 in their grand finals loss to FaZe. But look at this. Some aggression is going to get mixed in. And here in this next clip, Rain thinks he's caught him. Rain thinks he can stop him from falling back, but he's got other things in mind. Automatic picks him out of the sky. It's a long way to fall for Rain. And even though they would go on to lose the map, a good showing from Automatic. All the questions surrounding Big have always been, do they have enough firepower to follow up with Galbi's strategies? And if there's anyone to answer that for us, it's going to be Xanteris, the newest addition to Big Clan. He had a good first tournament with them. You can see here on Cash, just looking like he's deathmatching. He's more than happy to take one-on-one -on -one fights down Highway, and Cloud9 obliges him in this round, and he punishes him for it. It's obvious the amount of talent that he has and got B in a post-game interview with a smile on his face. Seemed very excited to be able to utilize this guy into the action. Santeros is going to have another chance again on Highway defending against Cloud9. This time they're going to send a couple different players at him. They go for a double peek and he still handles that with ease. It's beautiful stuff and very promising future for Big with this guy in the lineup. Number eight, gonna be a little bit of hazing in this round, a hazing tactic. Send the new guy in first, let him do all the work for you. Under 20 seconds left in the round, Zelsus is gonna be set in to execute a fake. All he has to do is get some kills and pull some rotation, and he does that. And he does it so well that it might actually fake out Cloud9. They're rotating back to the A bomb site, but he opens up B. And with the timer running low, Big doesn't even rotate over. That leaves the Godfather in a perfect position to shut this down. There's not enough time to clear the corners. There's not enough time to clear out this position. Three quick kills with the AUG and an easy one for his troubles. Got B sweeps Cloud9 aside. Number seven, Nico was a thorn in the side of complexity in this best of three, and that's putting it lightly. This is a beautiful spray transfer we're gonna see. This was a jaw-dropping moment watching it live. One nice kill, a second one, and look at that. Ricky has no chance to even react. It's beautiful stuff, and that might be, by the end of the year, one of the best spray transfers we see in tournament play. Kiyoshima at number six. He has been the highest rated player for this five-man lineup for Cloud9 across the 10 maps that they've played. This is a one versus three inside the A bomb site. He's only got three health. He can't sneeze, he can't blink. If he wiggles his goatee wrong, he's probably going down. And if that wasn't hard enough, he's got ammo issues. He's got to conserve what he has. And you'll see down the stretch, just tapping away. He's got Guardian, the only one left but he's so low on bullets, he can't commit to a fight. He's waiting for Guardian to play peekaboo, and that's exactly what happens. Nice win for Kiyoshima to keep Cloud9 alive on Inferno, a map they would eventually drop. But he's showing his quality here in a couple of clutches. Back to Nico versus Complexity on Cash. Nico would end up going 28-5 in this 16-2 victory. Also had 132 ADR. If you needed to know the exact statistics of his domination, this is what happens when mere mortals face off against a god. Look at him here. Another day in the office. He's patient. He's calm. And it's all headshots for Nico. Rushes to the USB and a pistol round. This is in the grand finals. This is to open things up. And Rush, he gets forced out of the A bomb site. You can see Faye swarming towards CT spawn. But Rush wants him to know it's his bomb site. He's going to be the tip of the spear to lead this charge, to lead this retake. And again, all headshots for Rush as well in a beautiful sequence. He's going to find four kills to end things up. This was a dominant win for Cloud9 to open up the grand final. 16-3 here, as this retake is going to eventually lead to a bomb defusal. But Rush had a tough tournament. This was one of the bright spots for him. On to map two in the grand finals. It's a save round for FaZe. They stack up on Rapside. It doesn't have the result they want, but don't worry. The cavalry is on its way. Raid. This is an unbelievable, unreal performance. Look at the precision on these shots coming out of the smoke. Immediate reactions. Kiyoshima goes down. This is the round that Guardian would later say 
is the round that broke Cloud9 in these Grand Finals. It's tough to argue it, and if anyone could, it would be Guardian, because he put on a show in the third map. And here we go, this is the first one. Another save round for FaZe that gets turned on its head. Rule number one when playing FaZe is you just do not give Guardian a free off. Everyone knows it. But it seems like Cloud9, they need to learn that lesson one more time. Automatic's gonna get picked off, an awkward angle that he can't retreat from, but Guardian's gonna pick it up, and he's gonna pin Flush into the wall behind him. A beautiful shot right out of the sky, and he's gonna play this post plant perfectly, turning things around on train, getting FaZe back to the gun rounds. And this is, this is madness. What a two round stretch Guardian gonna have. This is the very next round. Again, Guardian's gonna have to bail FaZe out of a tough spot. They're in a two on five at the moment. It's gonna turn into a one on four real quick and Guardian's got to ace. If he wants to seal this round away for Cloud9, this is what Guardian used to do day in, day out. This is what has made him such a fun player to watch. And we got a treat here at E-League. As he picks Cloud9 off, a missed opportunity for Zelsis from Ladder Room, but what a reaction from Guardian. A tough shot to hit, 90 degree turn, not even scoped in. Guardian's even gonna read where this last player is as he swings out wide. He was 34-9 in the final map of the Grand Finals, the HLTV MVP, and the reason why FaZe lifts their first trophy of 2019.